Sports' number one newscast. Eyewitness News with Irv Weinstein. Rick Azar on Sports. And Tom Jules with the weather outside. Now, Eyewitness News. Topping tonight's Eyewitness News, the darkest day in the history of the Buffalo Fire Department. This is Eyewitness News Tonight. Now, with Western New York's number one newscast, here with Irv Weinstein is Don Postles. Topping Eyewitness News Tonight, sudden death along a Chautauqua County Road. Western New York's number one newscast, Eyewitness News Tonight, with Herb Weinstein and Don Postles, Rick Azar on sports, and Tom Jules with the weather outside. Now, Eyewitness News. Now, Don Postles. Topping Eyewitness News Tonight. This is Eyewitness News at Noon. With Western New York's number one newscast, here is Nona Barbie. They're getting ready to honor the lady. Good afternoon, everyone. At the top of Eyewitness News at noon, the Statue of Liberty celebration officially begins tonight, but the fun's already underway in the Big Apple. Channel 7, Buffalo. It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? is Eyewitness News Nightcast. Now with Western New York's number one newscast, here with Mary McCombs is Irv Weinstein. Topping Eyewitness News Nightcast, almost one month into winter, it is finally beginning to look and feel like winter. Coming up on Eyewitness News Nightcast. I'm Anthony Moore with a live eye on Buffalo's west side. An Erie County bomb squad successfully defuses a homemade bomb here. I'll have that story next. Saying goodbye to a Niagara County Zoo. I'm Lori Lasowski and I'll have the story. I'm Sheila Mahoney. The stars come out on the screen in Clarence. I'll have a live report coming up. I'm Irv Weinstein. Mary McCombs has the night off. Eyewitness News Nightcast is next. This is Eyewitness News Nightcast. Now, with Western New York's number one newscast, here is Irv Weinstein. Topping Eyewitness News Nightcast, an explosive situation on Buffalo's west side. Buffalo. It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? This is Eyewitness News Nightcast. Now, with the latest from Western New York's number one news team, here is Sheila Mahoney. Topic Eyewitness News Nightcast. A father allegedly kills his family. New York's favorite news team. Here's Susan Banks. Linda Pellegrino with the AccuWeather forecast. And Bob Kuszynski Sports. This is Eyewitness News at noon. You're watching WKBW TV News Channel 7. We continue now with Eyewitness News.
watching Channel 7, WKBW-TV, Buffalo. It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? Tonight, continuing coverage on making a dangerous roadway safe by cracking down on speed demons. New tonight, Buffalo reworks its civic blueprint for the new millennium. But our top story, a no-show mayor in Niagara Falls is making it difficult to conduct some critical business. Good evening, I'm Keith Ranford. I'm Susan Banks. Topping Eyewitness News at 11. Live from WKBW-TV, you're watching Channel 7's Eyewitness News at 5. With Keith Ranford, Maria Gennaro, meteorologist Mike Randall with the weather outside, and sports with John Murphy. You're watching Channel 7, WKBW-TV, Buffalo. It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? Live from WKBW-TV, you're watching Channel 7's Eyewitness News at 11. With Keith Radford, Susan Banks, meteorologist Mike Randall with the weather outside, and sports with John Murphy. Stopping tonight's Eyewitness News. We're watching Channel 7's Eyewitness News at 5. With Keith Bradford, Susan Banks, meteorologist Mike Randall with the AccuWeather forecast, Mary Travers, Action 7 Report, and Sports with John Murphy. Now live from WKBW-TV at 7 Broadcast Plaza, this is Channel 7's Eyewitness News at 5. Live, local, late-breaking. This is 7 News at Noon. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Maria Gennaro. And topping 7 News at Noon, get ready for a winter wonderland this weekend. 7 News at 5 starts now. Live, local, late-breaking. This is 7 News at 6. Good evening once again. I'm Susan Banks. Keith has the night off. Live, local, late breaking. This is 7 News at 6. With Keith Radford, Susan Banks, meteorologist Mike Randall, Mary Travers, Action 7 Reports, and Sports with John Murphy. Live, local, late breaking. This is 7 News at 11. It's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? 7 News at 11 starts now. Topping eyewitness news this morning. A double deadly tragedy on a college campus. Happening now, it's the cleanup after the storm. Also this morning, preparing for a gubernatorial visit. Plus, a chat with Robin Roberts about her battle with cancer. Details on all those stories and much more right now on Eyewitness News This Morning. This is Channel 7's Eyewitness News This Morning. Good morning, everyone. This is Channel 7 Eyewitness News This Morning. I'm Laura Gray in for Bridget Blythe. Today is Monday, October 27th. This is Channel 7's Eyewitness News at noon. It's the economy in crisis that begins Eyewitness News at noon today. Education in New York State being complicated by billions of dollars where the budget... This is Channel 7's Eyewitness News this morning. It's 
cold out. Good morning, yes, everybody. Yes. <laughs> I'm Bridget Blythe here with meteorologist Aaron Mankowski. It's Wednesday, January 21st. Now, from Southern Broadcast Plaza, this is Eyewitness News This Morning. Good morning. I'm Ginger Jeffrey. Patrick Taney is under the weather this morning, but welcome to Monday, August 1st. Yes, it is a new month. We're going to get to our big stories in just a minute. Good morning, everybody. Who owns this minivan and why did he kidnap a 12 year old girl? The search is on for the suspect as residents are told to lock their doors. Also, how much money are state troopers making these days? The answer may surprise you. We'll show you a new report. And something big happened on the Ferris wheel at the Erie County Fair for one local couple. We'll explain. Eyewitness News this morning in HD starts now. From 7 Broadcast Plaza. This is Eyewitness News This Morning. Wow, so that's what HD looks like. Wow, look at us. We're in HD. <laughs> you look very nice. Yeah, I'm just like, like looking at We look different. Maybe the shot's different or Let's something. Let's just sit here and, and watch this. For a while. We look I wonder, different. But I wonder how much uh, Mike Randall's changed a little bit, don't you think, too? Wait a minute. You I said think HD? HD. I thought it was going to be in 3D. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Not yet. You're that's, kidding me. That's another decade or two. <laughs> Live from 7 Broadcast Plaza, this is Eyewitness News at 5. Topping out witness news at 5 tonight, investigators looking into a rash of fires in Buffalo. Good evening once again. I'm Keith Radford. Joanna is off tonight. Tonight, Queen City Police looking for the fire bug behind at least two fires that kept crews on the run overnight and today. Gunman Ricardo McCray goes on a shooting spree one year ago today, leaving four people dead and four others injured. Also, preseason through their first preseason matchup. And Veterans Day at the fair. The rain hasn't stopped the crowds from checking out the Erie County Fair. Live from 7 Broadcast Plaza. Eyewitness News at 6. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kendra Eaglin. Topping Eyewitness News at 6. Strong storms rolling through western New York today, leaving lots of rain and the potential for flooding. Channel it's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? Tonight, tense standoff. A man holds police at bay on Buffalo's east side, and only eyewitness news cameras are there. Also, building collapse. Rescue workers still trying to reach a Buffalo contractor who is trapped under tons of concrete and steel in Florida. And it's festival weekend. If you have an eye for art, then Buffalo's historic Allentown neighborhood is the place to be for the next couple of days. Good evening once again. I'm Keith Radford. Joanna is off tonight. Right now on 7 Eyewitness News at 5, breaking news we first reported for you earlier today live with Terry Pagula making his first public comments since beginning his bid to buy the Buffalo Bills. Also ahead, we're live tonight with the latest on a terrorist threat that's hitting close to home. Sunny with temps in the 60s today. We're much cooler tomorrow. I'll talk about that coming up. From 7 Broadcast Plaza, this is Eyewitness News. You saw it first here on 7 Eyewitness News. We were on the air live from New York City earlier this afternoon, giving you the breaking news concerning the sale of the Buffalo Bills. How long are those summer temperatures going to hang around? I'm senior meteorologist Mike Randall. I'll have your seven first alert weather. I'm Jill Perkins. A deadly collision between two planes in Lancaster. The details coming up. Plus, a teenage girl struck by a van three years ago in Wessica dies from her injuries. Now, with seven first alert weather, this is 7 Eyewitness News at 11. A fun day of flying taking a deadly turn here in western New York and now federal agents on the scene investigating. Two small planes collided in the sky over Alden forcing one of them to crash the other making an emergency landing. You're watching Channel 7 WKVW Buffalo.